From the land down under, with the rock at its centre, comes the little Aussie watchman. Trump talks military industrial complex. Trump is becoming more and more vocal about an entity known as the military industrial complex. Whether it be a smart political ploy or an inner rage about the excesses of American military might is unclear. His calling out the profiteering of war is not quite suicidal, but it is certainly dangerous. People get killed for doing things like this, possibly even presidents. The term military industrial complex was coined in 1961 by the exit speech made by President Dwight Eisenhower. This was his farewell speech and it was his number one warning. Beware the war machine. They like war and they like profits. Listen to these two clips from the Trump star. We don't have to fight these endless wars. We're bringing it back home. That's what I want on. And some people, whether it you call it the military industrial complex or, or beyond that, they'd like me to stay. One of the problems I have and one of, uh, for instance, with the witch hunt, you have people that want me to stay. They want me to fight forever. Uh, they do very well fighting. That's what they want to do, fight. A lot of companies want to fight because they make their weapons based on fighting, not based on peace. And they take care of a lot of people. I want to bring our soldiers back home. That's number one. And number two, and probably tied for number one, was we're bringing our soldiers back home. That was our largest year in Dallas. Great place. Great state, Texas. Tough state. They, they're tough. When I said we're bringing our soldiers back home, the place went crazy. But within the Beltway, you know, people don't like it. It's much tougher for me, It'd be much easier for me to let our soldiers be there, let them continue to die. I go out to Dover and I have to, I, I meet parents. It's not a pleasant thing. It's the most unpleasant thing I do. Most unpleasant thing I do. When I see that big cargo plane open and I see those coffins get rolled off. or when I Did you get that? How Trumpalicious is that? A lot of companies want me to stay. They make money from war. Lockheed doesn't like it. The Beltway doesn't like it. The military complex is not just the companies that make weapons. It includes those who own financial stakes in those companies. It includes the companies that go into these destroyed countries afterwards and make a ton of money rebuilding infrastructure. It includes the private rent and army companies. It includes the shareholders. That is why Washington tends to go to war. That is why Trump singles out the Beltway, a term that covers federal bureaucracy, its contractors and its lobbyists, and the media that feeds on them. The companies that make money from war in turn finance those in Washington who push the war. It is the military industrial complex and it is powerful. Defense and private military contractors play for big money. And big money is at, is at their disposal is to guide all too oblivious American public into wars across the world. Well, what about Trump's motivations? Is this just a smart political ploy playing on the average American's awareness of the dangers of endless wars, their lack of desire to see American soldiers dying for a fight they don't care about, and lastly, but most poignantly disgusting, American soldiers dying so that rich and powerful Americans can become even richer and more powerful? The Trumpster has made it a point that he can increase war to win a fight, but then remove his troops once the goal has been achieved. He inherited the ISIS crisis from Obama. Of course, America is conflicted because ISIS, whether by deliberate action or not, inherited a lot of training, weapons and strategic support from America and its allies. The CIA was definitely running a covert problem to try and take Assad down. And one of the groups that benefited from this was ISIS. In fact, some would say CIA created ISIS. While Russia probably did the main heavy lifting to crush ISIS, Trump was definitive in increasing troops and expanding operations to cripple the radical group. And once he determined that goal was finished, started removing troops. But not everywhere. He left troops to guard the oil. How convenient, the suspicious mind would say. Just whose oil is it anyways? Clearly, it is serious. The country America illegally entered destroy a government for its own geopolitical agenda. Still, I digress. Syria remains a complicated problem with multiple competing interests. And Trump, if we had to take it that he indeed is trying to get the best and the most just outcome for everybody, still has to navigate the predicate of history. The reasons for some of his decisions may not be clear for a few years. 
For example, why is he illegally holding onto oil fields that are not by right America's? I can theorize, but I don't know for sure. One thing is for sure, though, the military industrial complex is being pummeled by Trump, and that is definitely not a bad thing for the continuing of world peace.